So what's going on guys, OGR back with another New York Giants video and in this video we're going to answer three more questions similar to what I did yesterday. There was other questions in that article that I didn't answer so why not answer the rest of them. So with no further ado, let's get in. So question run reads, on Baker, do you think there's too much rush to judgment? I know firsthand some prosecutors lie. Let the case play out before the Giants make a decision. Too much talent if Baker is found innocent and the Giants let him go before the case is over. Wait and see what happens. Agree? I concur. I think it is a wait and see approach. Now, I know a lot of Giants fans feel, you know what? He's a thug. It's very clear in the court of public opinion that he has done this. I want him off the team. Rojas, off the team. But let's face it. We have to make sure he actually did this. And yes, a lot of it looks bad. But again, this is the court of public opinion. The court of public opinion doesn't put people in jail. The actual courts do. So let DeAndre Baker have his day in court. See what happens. If it's very clear he's going to be convicted or there is a conviction, off the team you go. But right now, what can you do? Uh, I think you put DeAndre Baker on the pup list and see where it goes from there. This way he's not taking a roster spot. But right now, it basically is a wait-and-see approach. Either way, guys, get on to the next question. How is it that some teams just seem to print money and always seem up against the cap? It's because they make bad choices, to be totally honest with you. I mean, the Giants were up against the cap a lot of times, especially under Jerry Reese with all that spending. And a lot of Giants fans were excited about the 2018 season because they thought 2017 was a fluke. Ben McAdoo and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's just bad decision makings by GMs. I mean, there are some good GMs. Like, I'll give credit to Howie Roseman and the Eagles. He always seems like he's up against a cap, but always puts out a quality team. Same with the Cowboys. They seem to overspend, but again, they're up against the cap. But again, they just seem find some way to keep these players on the roster. You know, they're really good at restructuring contracts, players that are underperforming and whatnot. Right now, the Giants don't have that problem, so that's a good thing. But let's get into the next question. So question three reads, While no Lamar Jackson, DJ has shown a good mobility, do you expect Garrett to script plays specifically to use his legs? Absolutely. Garrett scripted plays with Dak Prescott and even Tony Romo. Tony Romo killed us, and so is Dak Prescott with his legs at certain points. So yes, I do expect Garrett. And part of the reason why I don't think Daniel Jones was used more at the end of the season last year was that Green Bay injury where he had sprained his ankle. I think Pat Shermer was a little nervous about letting him roll out and whatnot. And there's a couple times where he did roll out, had a good run, but then got hit and fumbled. So the eight more pounds of muscle, I think you're going to see better ball security out of DJ. And yes, I do think you're going to see scripted runs, you know, it's a thing we haven't done in the past because obviously Eli, but I expect DJ to do it because obviously DJ is an underrated athlete, like you stated in the question. But either way, guys, it's been OGR Sports. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I am gone.